The atom. Electrical forces arise from particles and atoms. There is a positively charged nucleus with protons surrounded by electrons. Electrically charged objects. A neutral atom has the same amount of electrons as protons. It means it has no net charge. An unbalance would result in positively or negatively charged atoms. A charged atom is referred to as an ion. A positive ion means it has lost an electron. A negative ion means it has gained an electron. Principle of conservation of charge. Electrons are neither created nor destroyed. The electrons from the girl's hair are now transferring over to the balloon. The balloon now has an unequal number of electrons, so now it is electrically charged. <laughs> Attraction and repulsion. The fundamental rule of all basic electronic phenomena is that light charges repel and opposite charges attract. The negatively charged balloon and the negatively charged Van de Graaff repel each other. And as you can see, as I throw the balloon, it is being repelled. <laughs> Part one. The balloon is becoming negative and taking away the electrons of the boy's hair. Now the boy's hair is positive. So they are attracting. Yeah, we just had to charge it. Coulomb's law. It states that the magnitude of the force between two charged particles or objects is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two. Q's represent the quantity of charge of the particles and D is the distance between them. A greater distance between two objects will mean a lower electrical force. As the distance shortens, the electrical force becomes greater. In this case of repulsion, as the balloon gets closer to the Van de Graaff, the electrical force between the two becomes greater so that they repel because the electrical force is so much greater than when the two were at a farther distance. Conductors and isolators. Materials which electric charge that can flow are called conductors. Metals are good conductors. Insulators are poor conductors of electricity. Semiconductors are materials that can be made to behave as either. The electrons of the Van de Graaff prefer to go to the mini-me because it is made out of metal on the left. It does go to Mr. Nadeau, but when the mini-me is just as close, it prefers to go to the mini-me because it is a better conductor. As you can see, Mr. Nadeau is unaffected because he is an insulator compared to the mini-me. <laughs> the plexiglass is such a poor conductor that no electrons from the Van de Graaff go to it. Charging by friction. Electrons can be transferred by friction when one material rubs another. Electrons from the boy's hair are being transferred over to the balloon because of the friction created as I rub them together. Charging by contact. How far she's out. How far she's in. I am being charged by being in contact with the Van de Graaff, and I will charge. Chenille as I make contact with him. Okay. If an object is a good conductor, the charge will spread to all the parts of the surface because the charge, light charges repel. Because the Van de Graaff is made out of metal and a circle, the electrons are distributed evenly throughout its surface. If it is a poor conductor, the extra charge will stay close to where the object was touched. The balloon is a poor conductor, so where we rub the girl's head is where the electrons stay. Right there. <laughs> Charged object is brought near a conducting surface. Even without physical contact, electrons will still be transferred. The mini-me is being charged by the Van de Graaff even though there is no contact because it is in its electric field. Charge polarization occurs in insulator, insulators near a charged object. When a charged rod is brought near an insulator, there are no free electrons to migrate to insulating material. Instead, there is a rearrangement of positions of charges within the atoms and molecules. One side of the atom or molecule is induced to be slightly more positive or negative than the opposite side. Paper is an insulator, so the electrons from the charged balloon will not transfer over. 
However, the paper will be electrically polarized. One side of it will be slightly more positive than the opposite side. The negatively charged balloon pushes the electrons of the paper down, leaving the top more positive. Now that the charges are aligned, the two attract each other and the, that is why the pieces of paper stick to the balloon.